Hello, this is Patrick. Welcome to some more electric vehicle news. I'm here in, where am I? Littleton, Colorado. I'm in Littleton, Colorado, and I got this email about this new product. This is like one of the very first third party chargers that has the, the Tesla connector on it, the, the NEX. The NEX, North American Charging. This one's in beta right now, but we've started the UL process and manufacturing will kick off soon. And we hope to bring our NEX charger to market still by year end. So Sean showed me around the facility here. It's really cool. They, I mean, they've got everything all hooked up. They got active tests going on with everything. Uh, I'll, I'll show some clips here of some of the products that have gotten development. And yeah. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to have to get some for my hands. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you make videos of them. We'd be happy to supply those for you. All right, cool. <laughs> so one of the great features about our next charger is the value proposition. I know that Tesla just came out with their amazing new charger that you'll be able to do J1772 and X if you add an adapter to it, but it's $599. And we'll be uh, selling ours here for $399. Right now we're on Amazon with our J1772 charger, both in the black and white, if you can see those. And they are retail for three hundred ninety nine, and one of the top sellers on the Amazon. It's a full forty eight amps if you hardwire it, which is full forty eight yeah. amps, twenty five foot cable, and and it's a smart charger. We think it's the smartest charger on the market because when you combine it with our home energy management system, they'll do really cool things like solar only charging. We can detect when you're producing more energy than you're using, and actually turn your EV charger on as the sun comes uh, goes away or a cloud comes by will turn down the charge rate to match whatever the production you have on your house as you're laying out that production instead of sending it back to the grid. That's really cool. Yeah. What's the advantage of, of doing an Ampura EV charger versus just you know, getting well, the Tesla one? Yeah, and, it is the integrated um, and holistic home energy management system. Okay. Right? And so this is our generation two energy management system inside of a mocked up electrical panel, right? So we have these 200 amp CTs around the main power feeds. This is not a live panel, so it's safe. For yeah, me. okay. <laughs> don't, a don't try this at home. <laughs> don't try, don't try live panel, but these are the main power feeds coming from the utility meter into your electrical panel. These current transformers snap on here, and we're collecting, um, we're sampling data about 3,000 times a second um, and, can, and measuring current with these oh. current transformers. And then the monitor itself is plugged into uh, it's either a 10 or 15 amp breaker. And through that, we're powering the device and grabbing voltage. So between the voltage and the current, we can calculate actual real power usage. And again, mm -hmm. sampling 3,000 times a second. We average that over one second, send that through the area network up to the cloud and back to the consumer through a mobile app or a web app. So you can see real-time energy usage on the whole home building with these 200 amp CTs. And then these 50 amp CTs give you real-time energy usage data at the circuit level. So you can see exactly how much you're using for your air conditioner. You can see exactly how much energy you'd be using for your, and so this is my home here. And you can see my main AC is right now running at 3.9 kilowatts. My apartment, which has another AC in it, 2.6. My EV's here at work, so it's not plugged in. And you can change it from kilowatts to um, all kinds of fun stuff, but obviously dollars and cents, amps, you can compare it to different carbon um, usage. And the currency is it based on a bit of a day is our actual your actual re utility rate schedule. So we've hooked oh. to the Department of Energy's Interrail Utility Database. Huh. And so you just tell us what rate schedule you're on and we'll upload that rate schedule on the back end and convert the watts into dollars and cents. So you can see today I've spent two dollars air conditioning in my house, dollar oh. thirty four running in the front That's really cool. speaker. And you can do it by day, you can see what you spent by week, by month, and you know, real time is updating every second. So is there a, a plan that you get to like subscribe to for this? No, um, our software comes free of charge with the purchase of any of our hardware. So oh. you purchase a home energy management system, you can access the software, you purchase our EV charger, you can access the software. Huh. But your question of what differentiates us from the competition is with this real time energy usage data, we can do fun things that um, some of our competitors can't, like solar-only charging. We're detecting if you're producing more solar than you're using, and instead of sending that power back to the grid, we can turn on your EV charger, right? And if you turn on that EV charger, you're absorbing that and using that excess solar. Cloud comes, 
sun goes down, we turn off the EV charger. Oh. And we can set the rate of the EV charger to absorb exactly how much excess solar. So if you're only producing six amps, then we'll set your charger at six amps. Okay, that's cool. We have peak demand management. This is the idea that, you know, not all, um, well, some utility rate schedules across the country, like this building, is on a $20 a kilowatt peak demand charge. Ooh. And so what we do here is you set the goal of the peak demand that you want to stay with them. And as we monitor your usage and you exceed that goal, we'll start turning down energy usage um, on the first thing on your list. And you can just change the list around. And in my house, the apartment is where the sub panel is for my EV chargers. That's actually my EV charger. But the idea here is when your air conditioner kicks on or your oven kicks on, we can pause your EV charger. And when those appliances kick back off, we turn your EV charger back on, eliminating the peak energy uses in your house. So not uh, everything is running at the same time, huh. driving a huge peak energy consumption at one time. Nice. Right? And so that also, in different rate schedules, my house happens to be one that is on a peak demand. So they look at the highest 15-minute usage within a month and charge me times a dollar amount. So if it's 20 kilowatts times $10, it's $200 for that. Hmm. If I can cycle things on and off, I can lower that by 10 kilowatts. I'm going to save a couple hundred dollars a month. Wow. Does that make sense? And so that's a peak demand management tool. Huh. Again, using the EV as a, you know, a much smarter charger, cycling on and off based on what else is going on in your home or building. We have the time of use features, again, with that utility rate schedule integration. We can upload your utility rate schedule, and you can just simply tell us, hey, do you want to charge an EV charger you want to charge? Um, during off-peak hours only. And so we'll only run it during the off-peak and we'll pause your charger during those peak hours. And so those are some of the, the main features we have. We also have in our app the ability to sign up for DR programs from your local utility. You just put in your zip code and we'll show you what programs are in your available. Oh. You can get rebates, bill credits on your credit card, or excuse me, on your utility bill for yeah. participating in demand response programs from your utility through your EV charger. So a few of the different features that we may have that we think the competition, but of course, the best thing about our products is the value proposition, right? We're selling the exact same specs as the Tesla. We're selling the same specs, we're really close to the charge point, and we're, we're a fraction of their cost, huh. right? Which is super exciting. And so, this is the home energy management system. It works seamlessly with the home battery system and with the uh, EV charger. But of course, you can mix and match. You don't have to, you can just buy the EV charger or just. But when you buy the ecosystem, you get additional features. That right, are right. Okay. Yeah. Huh. And this is our bi-directional charger that we're working on now. Uh, oh. This is a, so that will work with the... rendering that we have. I'll just show you the... Will that work with like a lightning? In the garage. Pardon me? Will that work with the lightning? Um, well, right now, Ford has a closed communication system. So we are designing around ISO 1508 20 which is an open communication. Oh. We believe eventually manufacturers like Ford will open it up to open communications. Other manufacturers such as Rivian has hinted heavily that they're going to support 1511-8-20. I own a Rivian. I've actually communicated through that protocol. <laughs> it's not bi-directional enabled, but they're using yeah. the right protocol that it's an easy click of a button to make oh, it bi-directional okay. enabled. And we're also working with a couple of other OEMs and kind of joint development in this. We're developing the bi-directional, but we're working with them to test communication back and forth to the car. What about the, uh, the Leaf? Is that... Decent Leaf is Chadmo bi-directional. Oh, okay. So we're building around Max and CCS okay. both. So we'll launch both. Oh, but not interesting. Chadmo is a fully different communication protocol, different pen set. The thing about Nax and J1772 is you might notice uh, we're able to move pretty quickly and bring in a Nax charger out. It's because all the communication and pin configurations are the exact same. So all you're changing out is the charger okay. hardware. Oh, okay. The cable hardware. Yeah. The cable hardware. Where do you get the connector? I mean, are you, are you making this or is it? No, we buy it from manufacturers that currently make it. Oh, okay. So this is that. And the, the, does the button work? Yes, the button works, but it depends on the functionality of the button. These are two different uh, manufacturers. Oh. Uh, this one doesn't have the UHF transmitter to open the door. Okay. On your car. So this is really just a button for AC charge to stop the charge cycle. Okay. Um, whereas on this one, this actually has a UHF transmitter to open up the car door, and you can also use it to stop the charge of the 
this one will okay. bring the market. We're just testing the various. We're always testing various ones. Yeah, yeah. Different manufacturers, but this is the one we've already got the purchase order in place. The manufacturing has begun going through you all across procedures now. Nice. I was just at um, the DEF CON security conference in Vegas. Everybody had these little flippers and they were going around opening all the Teslas because they, they, they copied the. Yeah. So, so everybody's charging ports were opening and closing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what are the, the products they have on the market right now? You have Yeah, so right now we have our home energy management system. If you go on, again, Amazon or VittoriaEnergy.com and you look at our energy monitors, it comes the backbone of the energy management system. Um, we're the number one selling HEMS product on Amazon. We have our level two AC EV charger. Again, today it's 1772. Um, gun, but the next children should be out on the market along with that by the end of this year or early next year. We have a home battery system, so we can do anywhere from 7.6 kilowatts all the way up to 28 kilowatts of power. In kilowatt hours, we go from 8 kilowatt hours all the way up to 80 kilowatt hours. And so our home battery system, again, similar to the Tesla Powerwall, is also active on the market today. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, if I'm just judging from what I've seen here, like if you're a little bit more technically inclined, I mean, the Tesla versions of these things are the more simplified ones, but you've got everything up just another level on, on everything. You've got more granular that yeah. you can go in and do a lot more with and you, the expansion. And uh, so it's, it's pretty cool. A lot more features yeah. and we continue to improve that user experience to make it really intuitive and mostly super simple to get the full power of our software and our chargers out of them. So those well, thank, are always thank you for writing me. It's great. Yeah, Patrick, um, thanks, thanks so for much. having us on. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.